right. Well, Wendy Miller, she's a former teacher and she is the founder of Munchkin Math and she is back with us again. So, Wendy, break it down for us. What's Our weekly difference? lesson. Uh, <laughs> make it simple. I chose um, factors and multiples today to talk to you about because so many kids are home from school today and hopefully are tuning in. And parents sometimes on homework get those two words confused a whole lot. So, I just wanted to give kind of the cliff note version today to help parents and kids as well. Um, multiples is short for count by. So you say multiples of two, that's the technical term for just two, four, six, eight, ten. Factors are when we take the number like ten and we figure what two numbers multiply together mm -hmm. to get that number. So like one and ten, two and five, these are all factors. Okay? okay. So what we do at our company is we come up with songs, raps, and chants with hand motions raps. For, <laughs> each, <laughs> for all of the tough vocabulary words. This so, isn't the uh, rap we're going to have for lunch, is this it? This is no Man. different rap. Different different rap. We're going to get moving. But um, <laughs> we say multiples multiply, and then you say up, up, up. Because when you count by, you're going up. 5, 10, 15, 20. So let's try that. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Multiples multiply up, up, up. So kids at home, try this with us. We go multiples multiply up, up, up. And then we say factors, and you're going to say break it down. Ready? <laughs> factors <laughs> break, break it, it down. down. I think Ken should so do that. Break it. He's got that short <laughs> thing going on. Uh, orange juice, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a very easy term for kids to miss on tests because um, we'll say what are the multiples of 25, and then answer choice. A would be like 1, 5, and 25 to confuse them with factors. Kids interchange those words a lot. So. It's easy to okay. do. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully if we can go to the website to visit munchkinmath.com, we give a lot of home activities to help parents <laughs> help their kids. <laughs> Which is exactly what the kids at home wanted to hear. For like a day. Mom <laughs> logs on to make sure that your kid stays up on his math they want during to go the holiday for a break. Snowball. I they know. sledding today, but they need yeah. to learn some math. Forget they about sledding. Both. Forget about the toys. Let's do some math and some raps, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you so Wendy. Much. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Well, it's always good uh, information, and maybe you can just bring up the idea of I always And that dance was a lot easier time. than the other dance. Yeah. The last dance she had us do, there was a lot of hand the movements. The clock thing. And yeah. My rhythm was way The congruent off. was <laughs> the toughest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Wendy. All right. It is 9:28 this morning. Here's a look.